Hello and welcome to session one on rounding numbers. Let's start as always with our maths meeting. We've got four squared, a little two there means that we times four by itself twice, that's four times four, and then we're going to add 10 to it. 500 divided by 100, remember to use your place value grid to help you with this. Then we've got a column subtraction, one decimal place minus one decimal place. And then we've got a column multiplication, 6 times 4, 6 times 20, 6 times 400, combine it to find your answer, and a um, short division. Pause the screen, off you go. Okay, let's look at the answer together in 3, 2, 1. There we are. So 4 times 4 is 16 plus 10 is 26. Divided by 100, you're sliding it down the place value chart twice, leaving you with 5. Column subtraction, multiplication, and short division. Well done if you got those correct. Remember to take a picture and put them on Class Dojo. Okay, today we are rounding to the nearest 10, 100, and 1,000. But first of all, let's have a look at what rounding is. Albert? Wow, that's a lot of sweets. What's Jerry doing? Oh, labelling each jar with the number of sweets. But how do you know how many sweets each jar can hold? Oh wow, impressive. But with something like this, you don't need to be so exact. You can round the number to give a rough estimate of how much the jar can hold instead. Lovely. Rounding numbers gives a general idea of what the total is. It can make the number easier to understand, quicker to say, and in this case, leave a little wiggle room. To round a number to the nearest ten, look at the ones. Yep, that's the one, Jerry. If the number ends in five or more, round it up. 156 is rounded up to 160. But if it's four or less, then round the numbers down. To round a number to the nearest hundred, look at the tens digit and apply the same rule. Five or higher, round up. Four or less, round down. The same rules apply if we want to round to the nearest thousand, but instead we look at the hundreds digit and round up or down from there. Good idea, Jerry. I think Albert's had enough. Okay, so rounding is um, turning the number into a similar number that's almost easier to remember or understand and it's only when you don't need um, quite as much detail that you can use them. For example, in that video you don't need to know exactly how many, number, how many sweets are in those jars, you just need to know approximately or have a good estimate. So we're looking at rounding to the nearest 10, 100 and 1000. I've got a number line with 10s here, let me grab my pen. And halfway between 0 and um, 10 would be a 5 in there. Anything that's close, um, 5 and above, will be rounded to 10. Anything 5 and below will be rounded down. And again, sort of halfway in between 10 and 20, you've got 15. So if it ends in a 5, you'd round it up. Or round it down if it's 4 and below. When you're rounding to the nearest 10, it's going to be a number, whatever number it is, is going to end in um, a zero. It's going to have a zero in the ones column. It's going to be a multiple of 10. When you round into the nearest 100, whatever number you, you, you're, you're found will always be a multiple of 100. And all of these are multiples of 100. Um, and that would include in 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, and so on as you went along. And again, halfway between 0 and 100, you'd find 50. Anything that's 50 and above, you'd round up to 100. Anything that's below 50, you'd round down to 0. If you look at the next part, between 100 and 100, sorry, between 100 and 200 is 150. Anything that's 50 and above, you would round up. Anything below that you would round down. And you can look between the 600 and 700 if you like. Halfway between would be 650. If the number was 650 and above, you'd round it up 
it's closer to the 700 or if it's below 650 you'd round it down to 600. And then finally we've got our thousands here. Halfway between 0 and 1000 is 500. Anything above 500 you would round up to 1000. Anything below 500 you would round down to 0. If the number, oh sorry, halfway between 1000 and 2000 is 1500. Anything 1,500 and above, you'd round up to 2,000, and anything 1,000 um, below 1,500, you'd round down to 1,000. You can look over here. Anything between 8,000 and 9,000, if it's above 8,500, you'd round it up to 9,000, and anything below 8,500, you would round down to 8,000. So when you're rounding, you're looking for what it's closest to. And if you're rounding to the nearest 10, you know it's going to be a multiple of 10. It's going to have a zero in the ones column. If you're rounding to the nearest 100, you are going to have a zero in the ones column and the tens column. And it's going to make a number that is a multiple of 100. And if you're rounding to the nearest thousands, you're going to have a zero in the ones, tens and hundreds columns to make sure that it rounds to the nearest thousand. It's going to be a multiple of a thousand. Okay, let's have a look at a few examples. We've got rounding to the nearest 10. Round these numbers to the nearest 10. So we've got a number line zero to 100. Let's have a look at where the number 12 would be. It's going to be between 10 and 20. So we'll look between 10 and 20 be approximately here. It is definitely below 15, so we would round it down to 10. Then if we looked at the number 4, that lies between 0 and 10, about here. Again, that is below our halfway mark there, which is 5. It's below 5, so we round it down and we'd round it down to zero. It's closer to zero than it is to ten. The number 68, you can find that, it's between 60 and 70. It's about here at 68, so it's definitely past our halfway marker. It's, it's a larger number than 65, so where 65 would be. 65 and above we round up, so 68 we would round up to the next ten, which is 70. And this number, 362, it's not on our scale, but we can still use this scale to help us. So 362, 362, if we put a 360, sorry, 360, and we change this into 370, 360, 370, the midway point would still be 365, a little bit here. We've got our number at 362. So 2 in the 1s column, so we know that it's closer to the 60, so it's closer to 360 than it is to 370, we would round it down. Got another example here, 2,351,914, and in the same way as we didn't really need to worry about there being a 300 there, we can do exactly the same with this number, we can just look at the 1s column, so we know that the numbers but the word, sorry, 14 at the end here, so that's between 10 and 20. So we look between 10 and 20, and we've got 14 here. So it's a below 5, so we know we round the number down. So 2,351,910. Let's just double check, we're rounding to the nearest 10 here. So we need to make sure that all of our numbers are multiples of 10 and we'll know they're multiples of 10 because they've got zero in the ones column. We can also double check we rounded that one down because it's the, the ones is below 5. We rounded this one down because the ones is below 5. We rounded this one up because the ones is above 5. We rounded this one down because the ones was below 5 and we rounded this one down.
quicker than the ones with below five. Okay, let's have a look at rounding to the nearest hundred. So on these ones will round to the nearest hundred, and I've got my multiples of 100, 100 here to help me. Okay, so this time we're rounding to the nearest hundred. Here's my hundreds, so 643. That's 600. And then we need to look at our tens to figure out if it's below five, we round down. If it's above five, we round up. So this number, 643, we are going to round it down. So what do we round it down to? Let's have a quick look on our number line. 643 is between 600 and 700. The midway point would be 650. But at 643, we already know it's closer to 600. We need to round it down. So rounding it down to 600. Let's have a next look. We've got 43 here. The hundreds below it would be zero, and the hundreds above it would be 100 because it hasn't actually reached any hundreds yet. If we look between 0 and 100, our cutoff point would be 50. 50 would be rounded up, but we're on 43, which is about here, so we can round down, and we would round down to 0. Okay, then we've got 650. So we're going to be between 600 and 700 again, 600 and 700. This number 650 it almost feels exactly in the middle, but the rule is if it is 5 and above, 50 and above, it needs to be rounded up. So we would round it up to the next 100, which is 700. Then we've got 3,462. Again, we don't really need to worry about these thousands here. They're going to remain the same. We just need to be making sure we're turning it into a, a multiple of 100 to show that it's rounded to the nearest 100. So we're on between 400 and the next 100 along would be 500. So we're between 400 and 500. And we need to figure out if it is above 450 to see if we need to round it up or whether it's below 450 so we can round it down. It's 462. Got six, uh, sorry, more than five tens here. We'd sit around here, so we know we'd have to round it up, and we would round it up to three thousand five hundred. And our last example: two million three hundred fifty-one thousand nine hundred and fourteen. Same numbers we had um, in the last slide. Now again, we don't need to worry about these. We don't. They're going to stay exactly the same. We only have to look at this part here. We need to round to the nearest 100, and after the 100, we've got 14. So it's between 900 and the next 1,000. So 900 and the next 1,000, is it, is it higher than, is it 950 or higher, or is it below there? So it's 914. 914 would be about here. So we can see that we round it down. And when we write our number, we can leave this part here exactly the same. And actually for this one we can also leave a 900 there because we're rounding down to 900. For these we've been rounding to the nearest 100. So let's just double check that all of our answers are multiples of 100. All of these are multiples of 100. I know that because they have 0 in the 1s and 0 in the 10s. And let's double check. After the 100s was 4 so we rounded down. Correct. After the hundreds was a four, so we rounded down. Correct. After the hundreds was a five, so we rounded up. After the hundreds was a six, so we rounded up. After the hundreds was a was a one, so we rounded down. Correct. Let's have a look at rounding these numbers to the nearest thousand. When we're rounding to the nearest thousand, they're going to end up a multiple of one thousand. So I've got my number line here with multiples of 1,000. First example we're going to look at is 3,900. So we've got 3,910 there. It's going to lie between 3,000 and 4,000. We need to figure out if it's above, so sorry, if it is 3,500 or above 3,500, we'd be rounding it up to 4,000. If it was below, we'd be rounding it down to 3,000. 
we've got 3,910 here, which would sit around here. So we need to round that up. We round it up to 4,000. It is closer to 4,000. Then we've got 294. There are no thousands here, so it's between no thousand and one thousand, between zero and one thousand. If it was 500 or above, we'd be rounding it up to a thousand. If it's below 500, we'd be um, rounding it down to zero. It is 294, so we're going to be rounding it down and we'd round it down to a zero. Then we've got 3,860. 3,860 is going to be between 3,000 and 4,000. We've got 860. 800s is bigger than 500s. It's going to be about here. So again, we're going to round it up to 4,000. On the next one, we need to look for the thousands. We can ignore these, they're just going to stay the same. We're just going to be writing those out. It's only this bit here that we need to think about so when rounding it. These are going to end up zeros to make a multiple of a thousand. So at 1,462, it's going to be between 1,000 and 2,000. If it was above one, if it was, sorry, if it was 1,500 or above, we would be rounding it up to 2,000. If it's below 1,500, we will be rounding it down to 1,000. Let's have a look. We've got 462 here. So 400 means that we're going to be rounding it down to 1,000. Like I said, we kind of, we can almost do ignore these numbers here. It's just these last three that we need to be turning into zeros to make sure that it's a multiple of um, 1,000. So we rounded it down to 3,000, sorry, 321,000. Our final example, the same number again, 2,351,914. We can ignore those first ones just for now. We're just going to write them on in a moment. And then we can look at the 1,000 here. So our number's going to be between 1,000 or 2,000. If it's above, sorry, if it is 1,500 or above, we would be rounding it up to 2,000. If not, we'll be rounding it down to 1,000. Now we've got 1,900. So it's 1,914, which is going to be right up here somewhere. So we know that it's closer to 2,000 than it is 1,000. So we're going to be rounding it up. We'll be rounding it to 2,352,000. Let's double check. We're rounding to the nearest 1,000. All of these are multiples of a thousand. I know that because they've got three zeros to show that they are a multiple of a thousand. So I've definitely rounded to the nearest thousand at least. And then I can quickly check that's a nine, so we rounded it up to four thousand. So two hundreds, we rounded it down to a zero. It's eight hundreds, so we rounded it up to four thousand. Then we've got four hundreds, so we rounded it down to 1,000, 900s, so we rounded it up to 2,000 there. So I know these ones are all correct. On to your maths for today then. We've got a bit of a mission set for you. Let's read through together. Dear agent, there has been a breach in internet security and we need you to help protect the data before it is stolen. The IP numbers attached to this document have fallen into the hands of despicable criminals. Soon they will have worked out the patterns to unlock the codes and steal important and secretive information. Can you help us find the codes to lock the files before they access them? To find the code to lock the files, you must round the IP number to the nearest 10, 100 and 1000. Good luck, agent. Round each IP number to the nearest 10, 100 and 1000 to find the codes. So each of the numbers you're sorry, each of the IP numbers you're about to be given, you need to round to the nearest ten, hundred, and thousand to find the code. Let's have a look at these numbers. The first one is an example. It's Mr. Amada Owo, and his IP number is four thousand two hundred and thirty-nine. So the code. First of all, you need to round to the nearest ten. Got 
nine ones, so it needs to rounding up, we round it up to 4,240. Then you need to round it to the nearest hundred, put three tens, so you need to round it down to 4,200. Then you need to round the number to the nearest thousands, put two hundreds, so it's another round down, and you'd round it down to 4,000. You might want to draw out some number lines to help you with these, um, but if you can just look at the um, ones, tens or hundreds to work it out, that's absolutely fine. You've got all of these codes to work out. Once you've found out all of the codes, take a picture and send them in to Class Dojo. Answers will be revealed in tomorrow's session.